we are going to review the compare to method with strings and then write our own compare to method. Doesn't that sound like fun? So uh, the compare to method, you can use this to compare two strings to each other and it returns an integer value. That integer value is less than zero. In other words, you get a negative value if this is less than other. Now this of course is the first string and then the other is the one that you're passing it. Uh, less than means it's closer to A in the alphabet if you sort them, you're sorting things alphabetically. You get a zero if the two strings are equal. You get a positive value if this is greater than the other. So let's look at a quick example. I have my string apple and banana here. A is apple, B is banana. And in this print statement, I'm comparing A to B and A does come before B, so I should get a negative value, right? If this comes before this alphabetically, you get a negative value. So this should return true. Um, B compared to A, B does not come before A, so I should get a positive value. So less than zero, this should return false. It's not less than zero. And typically you would use compare to in an if statement like this underneath where I would say if A compared to B is less than zero. Again, in other words, if A comes before B alphabetically, then it'll say uh, print A comes before B. Otherwise I could do something else. Um, it, just so that you, to be clear, it doesn't just look at the first letter. I mean, I could have two A words, uh, ape and apple, and it would, if the first letters are the same, it looks at the next letter, and then the next letter it compares things, it, it alphabetizes them, it looks at them alphabetically. So hopefully that makes sense. Sometimes students for some reason think it just looks at the first letter, no. Um, and as far as what is that negative value or positive value, is it negative one, is it positive one? Don't worry about what the negative value is, it actually will return a negative number telling you how far apart these things are alphabetically, but don't use that. You just test to see if it's negative, positive, or zero. So I could run this real quick, and um, you can see that I will in fact get true, false, apple comes before banana. Great. So you do have to know how to, how to use these. If, um, if I went too quick, review it, it's, uh, it's on your reference sheet, so all right. So here's another example of how you might want to use the compare to method. Um, I have an array of strings, it's called animals, and these are a bunch of animals. Chicken, kangaroo, wombat, bird. They are not in alphabetical order. So I'm going to print them out in this little for loop, and it says before sorting, and it's just going to print my list of animals. And then I'm going to use the built-in um, sort method. Uh, in, in the array class, there's a method called sort, and if you pass it an array, it will sort that array. Now, what, how does it know how to sort it? Well, it will only sort objects that implement the comparable interface. In other words, it'll only s sort objects if, the, if that object has a compare to method. And in fact, strings do have a compare to method. So arrays.sort will knows how to sort strings. So hopefully that makes sense. And um, uh, so afterwards, I'm going to, I sorted them, then I'm going to print them out again. And I'll do this real quick. And you can see that, in fact, they're unsorted. And then they're sorted bird, chicken, kangaroo, wombat. That's an interesting animal list. <clears throat> so if you create an object and you want to sort that object, if you want to have an array of those objects, you can sort that object using this sort method as long as that object has a compare to method. So here's an example. I've, uh, I have an object called person and um, a person has a first name, a last name, and an age. I have a two string method and then down here I have a compare to method. Now um, Compare to is very specific. See, com compare to needs to compare any two objects. So that's why in, in the parentheses here, I don't say, uh, even though I'm, I'm inside of a person class right, right now, I don't say person, another person. I say object, another person. Because again, the compare to method is a very generic method. It, ha it has to be able to compare any two objects. So. Um, inside, now you can see that I'm just returning this age, 
you know, this of course is it's the the age of the guy who's running the compare to method, and I'm comparing it with another person's age. But notice I have to cast it in parentheses. I have to cast another person to age in order to get their age. If I didn't do this, it would it would try to find um, age in in object and doesn't exist. So so you do have to downcast. This is called whatever you're passing in here, whatever object you're passing in here to the object that, you, that you're currently in. In this case, I'm in person, I'm downcasting it to person. So this will compare two people, person objects, by their age. And notice, though, I'm also up top, I'm saying implements comparable. So I'm saying that I'm implementing the comparable interface, and that way the arrays.sort method will be able to, it knows I'm implementing comparable, and it will uh, be able to sort persons by age in this case. And if I uh, open up my tester, <clears throat> here in my tester, I have a bunch of people and I've put them in an array called persons. And here's my array of persons. And then I print them out before sorting. And then just like I did with the array of strings, I'm, I'm using the sort method and then I'm printing them out afterwards. So you can see I'll run this um, and I will get um, my uh, a array of people unsorted and then sorted. Remember, I was sorting them by age, so it's it goes, uh, you know, youngest to oldest. And there we go. Now, I could, if, for those of you who are into Seinfeld, you know, Seinfeld characters, I could change. Um, the nice thing here is I could go uh, to my compare to and sort them by something else. It doesn't have to be. Um, I, I, it doesn't have to be the age, I could sort them by, I don't know, their first name or something. So how would I do that? Well, I could just say, um, uh, I could say uh, first name, let's see, what's the first name? First name, I mean, I could say this dot first name, of course. Now this is going to seem a little weird because I am going to return the result of comparing uh, their oops person actually another person is I'm gonna have to just see another person dot see I'm messing this up totally okay this is a well it's, it's a good thing that I'm doing this because okay this is a person <laughs> person dot first name. All right, I hope I matched my parentheses. Well, I guess we'll see. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, cannot be applied to person. Wait a minute. Person, another person compared to, there we go. These parentheses are insane. Okay. There we go. So um, now I'm using the string compared to method. This is a little bit confusing, but first name is in fact a string. And now I'm getting the first name of the other person. Now, f first I had to cast another person to person. And then I had to get the first name of that other person, which is a string, which I know seems weird so I'm but I am now using this the, I'm not calling this compare to method I'm running the compare to method of strings so let me run this thing and I think you'll see this in fact will sort my array by first names um, so this is let's see this is before sorting and it wasn't quite in alphabetical order, and hopefully this is in alphabetical order. A, B, C, D, H, I, J, yeah. So that worked, it wasn't quite in. So I know this well, this, this one seems a little weird, but um, just to be clear, I'm now using the string compare to method within my person compare to method, and I'm able to do that because I'm casting the other person, another person, to a person and getting their first name. I know lots of parentheses, it looks a little bit weird. So hopefully this makes sense. You're gonna write a project where you're gonna sort presidents 
And a tricky, and all you're gonna to have to do basically is implement the compare to method, and I think the two string method also for that project. But when you implement the compare to method, make sure you cast whatever is in the parentheses here to the current type of object that you're in. In this case, it's a person. In, in your project, I think you're gonna cast it to a president. So hopefully this makes sense. You're gonna implement the compare to method. It shouldn't be that bad, and get to work.